Okay, guys. Usagi. This is the nice looking kanji, and this is the real kanji. I am writing the Japanese kanji for you to teach you, everybody. This is the word for rabbit in Japanese. So this is this is hiragana, hiragana, which is like their way that they write letters. And these are kanji. This is just a more stylized form of writing, but this is the actual kanji. So they're both the same, though. Most people recognize them. Okay, why am I telling you the, the, the kanji for Japanese? Well, because I have reached my 200 subscribers, ladies. That's right. I am at 199, and I'm sure it will pop up because every day I seem to get more sub subscribers. I'm really happy that you guys are watching my videos. Um, I'm trying to ignore at the same time that there is this one or two people who are giving me thumbs downs lately, and I'm it's really bringing me, bringing me down. Why would I even give you a thumbs down? Okay, but for all of those girls out there who like to watch my videos and leave comments and enjoy watching them thank you so much and I do my videos to share with you and I love to watch your videos as well so anyways I want to thank you ladies so why am I teaching you about Usagi well in case you have not guessed Usagi is the year for next year for 2011 it will be the year of the rabbit so what should I give you for a giveaway well let's see Let's throw in some lovely Japanese goodies. So, goodie number one. It's an embellishment set. I'll just take it up here. It has some stickers, um, some border strips, some squares. Um, these are all stickers, by the way. And then some big ones and some smaller stickers of rabbits. And these were all, most of the gifts I'm giving you are to make New Year's cards so they have lots of lucky seals and to make your own New Year's cards everyone does it and I am going to give you a whole bunch of stuff to let you do it you can use them for anything you want but I want to share with you these are fuzzy washi um, pieces of well I was going to say stickers they're not stickers let me get one to show you so here's one right here I'm giving you two of each uh, I thought, you know, the, that'd be enough for you to play with. And they're really fuzzy on the outside, and I love these. And they're plain on the back, so you can just use some tape or whatnot. And these are also for, for cards, for postcards. You can use them in anything you like. I've got some stickers, some more. These are cherry blossoms. I have more cherry blossom um, stickers for you. They're really fun and glittery. They're foily. They're foily. I have some washi squares for you guys. Really cute. They're baby ones. I might include some bigger ones, but that's all I got for now. And I'm saving the big stuff for, for later, the good stuff. I've got a pack of postcards that I will include for you to try and have fun with your stuff. I will also include a package of the Japanese um, mango set, the game pieces. There are some, you know, geishas and some regular guys. They're kabuki characters, actually, so I'll, I'll include a pack of those. Um, I'm also going to include one, these stamp rubber thingies. You put it on your finger and you smudge it, you know, you smudge the ink and stuff like that. Have fun. I am going to include a set of stamps, so... Basically, you're going to get one um, New Year's writing stamp. This is a greeting for New Year's. You know, you can use it for New Year's, or you can just use it in something. And if you don't really care what it means, you can just use it because it looks, you know, Asian, <laughs> I guess. And I'm also going to give you um, one of these three stamps. Um, I haven't decided. As you can see, that's the kanji that I wrote before. This is a nice little rabbit one. And then this is the Usagi, so the rabbit's like in the shape of the U there. I really like this one. Um, I think I want to keep this one for myself, but I might, 
I want all of these for myself, so I am trying to decide. I might just buy another one of these because this is my favorite. But I also like this one too. Really cool. So um, they go together as a set. Now, also, I'm trying not to show you the um, the price tag that's on the bottom. Ta da! So also, you'll be getting a gun ton, which is New Year's Day stamp that goes in the corner. Use red for it. And also I'm going to give you some cherry blossoms so you can decorate it around like that kind of stuff. And let's see, there was something else that I was going to come um, include. Oh, also I want to include some tombu, Tombow glue, which is really popular and you can get it in Japan here, really cheap. So I'm going to glue one of those in. And I'm also going to include one Japanese snack. And I'm just putting a little rat up there because he's so cute. And there might be more that I'm including as well, as I told you. I might um, put in some ink or, you know, some bigger sheets of washi. Um, probably this will be an international shipping for me. So I'm going to keep it small, guys, you know. <laughs> but I just want to thank you. There also might be a runner-up. And they might get um, a set of postcards pre-made by me and maybe one of these stamps as well so I'm thinking about that so guys keep watching um this will be the video where you should leave your comment if you want to be included in my giveaway so you don't have to give me a, uh, you know one of your stories or anything <laughs> just you know tell me you're interested no problem and um, I will set a deadline my deadline will be let's see look at the calendar December 5th. December 5th will be the deadline. As well, I'd like to let all the ladies know out there that I was going to open Etsy, but I had a problem with it. I won't be able to open an Etsy anytime soon um, to get to, you know, sell these with me and to sell these to you or to create my own things. And I was going to do some cards and stuff. So instead, I'm aiming to do a tutorial series where I show you how to make the the postcards and some Japanese type cards and that will be my goal for the end of this year to complete and I've already worked on the first segment so one other thing I want to show I'm almost out of time right now is that I will be including some of these papers they tell you how to do Japanese cards right there there's an example there's another one they're little they're like little free packlets they have all the different examples so you can learn how to do oh that's nothing right there but you can learn how to do the Japanese postcards really cute there it is there and there's lots of funky writing so I'll put in a set of those for you to do that's my giveaway um sorry for rambling on guys love you all have a great night and I'll talk to you soon good luck